my friend's internet computer is the first protocol in the world that has the level of advanced blockchain interoperability that can truly make crypto prepared for mass adoption. Internet computer is the first crypto that can natively send Bitcoin and now this week Ethereum transactions directly on chain, making it the quiet giant of blockchain interoperability. If you've heard about the blockchain interoperability narrative, many cryptos are working on stuff, but you can't actually use it. On internet computer, you can use it and it's functioning today. And I'm going to show you all of that here and explain why this is such a big deal. If you're wondering, well, what is blockchain interoperability and why does it matter? Blockchain interoperability is the key to fully unlocking the potential blockchain technology because the two largest blockchains in terms of community adoption and addresses, etc., are Bitcoin and Ethereum. And both of these are clearly not prepared for mass adoption. If you look at the Bitcoin memory pool, pool the, the fees are outrageous. It costs at least $10 just to send a transaction right now on the Bitcoin network. And it, you're looking at 20 plus minutes often to uh, have a couple of blocks confirming the transaction and hours if you want a transaction that's fully confirmed and not vulnerable to double spend. And meanwhile, the Ethereum network, the base fee just to even send a transaction you're looking at right now is $4.00. And then to do a swap or an NFT sale, the fees are ridiculous. You're looking at bridging off of Ethereum right now to something else, $20, borrowing $50, swapping almost $70, and an NFT sale in the hundreds. And this is not a bull market or anything. This is just a regular old Tuesday on the, the these chains that are not prepared for mass adoption. So what you need and what people have been building are layer twos or scaling solutions and many of these have fell victim to centralized bridges that have been hacked and exploited and people have lost billions of dollars in these and therefore the solution is true blockchain interoperability now while other projects say they're building things you can't actually use them and therefore you can't really build anything on them and if you can use them there's very limited use cases what you can see on internet computer is that we have a native Bitcoin ICP integration that is being used today where internet computer, it because it has HTTPS outcalls, because it's the most advanced unmatched technology in crypto, you can actually create and send Bitcoin transactions directly on the protocol. You can receive Bitcoin in your wallet and what you get is a chain key or CK BTC one to one twin that represents Bitcoin that is actually held on internet computer. That means that it's not a bridge, but this is done through sharding through chain key ED ECDSA advanced threshold cryptography integrated with ICP. It's a set of cryptographic protocols that allow internet computer nodes to cooperatively create signatures which can be used to sign Bitcoin transactions using a highly fault tolerant decentralized network that is resilient to attacks by malicious nodes. That means the Bitcoin private key is never stored in one place. It's broken down into key shares that are then reshared and then when requested, when a user on internet computer requests a transaction, then the nodes use their key shares to collectively sign BTC transactions. This is amazing technology that combined with HTTPS outcalls, the Definity team, which is the largest research and development team in blockchain, as you can see at Definity.org, where they have a massive amount of talent from companies you've heard of, and they've made these advances that you can have native Bitcoin directly on ICP where your Bitcoin is held in the manner I've just described at a one to one ratio. And this allows for things like Dex is offering BTC pairs, which we actually have live on Internet computer. And I've traded around five thousand dollars of Bitcoin myself using these decentralized fundraisers accepting Bitcoin 
and Web3 Socialfy services, which I've also used. You can look at Open Chat. I have two videos if you look up Jerry Banfield Open Chat on YouTube, where actually I have a third one here showcasing the power where you can do Bitcoin giveaways on Open Chat. I've won and been tipped $30 in Bitcoin via the Chain Key Bitcoin Twin, which I could redeem for $30 in Bitcoin right now, minus the $10 network fee I'd have to pay if I wanted to send it off internet computer. So I could trade this right now for $30 in ICP and send that to an exchange if I wanted to for almost no fee and sell it for $30. This is a big breakthrough because it's live. And my first question, if I was watching, will be who's using this? Right now, one or a Bitcoin ordinals marketplace. Bitcoin ordinals are inscriptions on the Bitcoin blockchain, which is a big driver and why transaction fees have gotten so high on the Bitcoin network. Ordinals are often NFTs and even BRC20 tokens that are inscribed directly in the Bitcoin blockchain. But these are not mass adoption friendly at all because of the huge fees you have to pay until the first Bitcoin ordinals marketplace on a layer two called Bionic. This just launched on Internet computer in this last week. And in that time, in the last year that this chain key Bitcoin token has been live on Internet computer, since this ICP BTC integration has been set up, there have been 127,000 transactions with it. But in the last seven days alone, 23,000 of those transactions have happened, and most of them coming just from this one single marketplace, which is hosted on Internet Computer, which has to burn Internet Computer to pay for things like the data that's used to store the website, etc because it's actually built on internet computer then the chain key bitcoin transactions you can now launch your own ordinals collection on bionic and allow any kind of collection you want to be purchased for a fraction of the cost and we've seen in ethereum these layer two solutions where there's tiny fees have rapidly racked up huge amounts of users just look at base for example coinbase's ethereum layer two where you can send transactions very cheap on Ethereum, on an Ethereum layer two, and then all the transactions are settled to the layer one by base. This works a little bit differently in that the Bitcoin that's deposited on internet computer is held there until someone redeems it. And here's how you redeem it. I've tested this myself with, I when I sold all my Bitcoin for internet computer, I deposited it, by going to the network nervous system directly on internet computer, going to chain key Bitcoin, clicking receive, and then going over here, getting a Bitcoin address, and then I deposited my Bitcoin directly on this address, which was generated by internet computer, and then it gave me chain key Bitcoin as soon as there were 12 confirmations, which... That could take a few hours at the rate the Bitcoin network does of a block every 5, 10, sometimes 30 minutes or longer. So this worked really well. I was able to swap all my Bitcoin into chain key Bitcoin and then swap my chain key Bitcoin into internet computer at a much better price than I would have paid on the market using a decentralized exchange built directly on internet computer. These transactions are sent with one to two second finality. The fees are negligible compared to Bitcoin, often less than a cent and sent immediately. And for countries like El Salvador that have made Bitcoin legal tender, this is the technology they need to make their Bitcoin legal tender prepared for mass adoption. And this is just the beginning. As we've seen with the chain key Bitcoin transactions, one single use case has cranked up the transactions. But here's the, the largest single community in crypto from my research is Ethereum. If you combine Ethereum and all the tokens that are on Ethereum, Ethereum is truly the largest community in crypto, much bigger than Bitcoin, depending on how you want to categorize it. I count all the Ethereum addresses and users and conversations about Ethereum and all the related tokens. And now the two largest communities in crypto, Bitcoin and Ethereum, 
both, for the first time anywhere, have a layer two in the same place. And this is just going live this week. The uh, Definity Foundation voted proposals in that will automatically upgrade the network and put all the testing they've done onto this into action the way the chain key Bitcoin is in action now. Unlike Bitcoin, which just has Bitcoin, Ethereum also has all these other ERC-20 tokens and it has huge amounts of stable coins like USDC. This integration unlocks all of those to come to internet computer. Stable coins that are already on Ethereum will be able to be chain key USDT, USDC, for example, CK, USDC, USDT, allowing for huge amounts of liquidity to roll right into the internet computer ecosystem into any applications. This is possible on internet computer because you can build the smart contracts directly on chain. And then this is going to be the most advanced Ethereum layer two in the world. And when you combine that with Bitcoin, it is obvious that internet computer is an absolute giant in blockchain interoperability because it's the only place you'll be able to take your Bitcoin, deposit it, swap it on a decentralized exchange to Ethereum, and then pull it directly off without having any centralized parties in the middle and uh, having unlimited capabilities then of what you could do with it. For example, you could put your Bitcoin on and swap it on an exchange to another token. You could use that to launch a meme coin, participate in open chat, funded. All the things that are built on internet computer, all the games that are built on internet computer can then use Chainkey Ethereum, Chainkey Bitcoin, and all the stable coins. It's incredible. The sheer amount of things that you can build, and this is real, and this is usable, and you can see this, which is unlike a lot of crypto. This is 100% on-chain Web3. And the more Ethereum developers discover this, it's very likely that lots of Ethereum developers are going to move their front ends on the internet computer. It'll then be pretty easy to set up a CK ETH and to scale their app out to new users and new use cases on Ethereum. And all of this done directly via the HTTPS outcalls on internet computer, the, the nodes that are set up, the smart contracts that run all of this and where this gets even more amazing is that in theory any other chain could be added also if other chains wanted to for example work with definity if there was sufficient demand other chains could have chain key versions built directly on internet computer as well obviously you can see why they did bitcoin and ethereum first but other popular networks could be built directly into this as well. And then you have on-chain AI coming and all the other narratives that I've talked about in many, many of my other internet computer videos recently. For example, world leaders discovering ICP, internet computer having 33 ICP is a lot. Why I put 100% into internet computer, this goes through like 40 narratives that are huge for internet computer. This to me is the most exciting thing I see right now in crypto. This is real technology. There's massive need for what it does. If you compare the fees you pay on Ethereum versus the same kind of things you could do by depositing on internet computer and then setting it up there, there's, there's no better option. So that's why I dedicate almost every video I make on my Jerry Banfield crypto channel and that I make on my X, I mention internet computer in almost every single video because the more I've researched in crypto, the more I see it's all heading towards internet computer. So I'm grateful this was produced in collaboration with the Definity Foundation. They gave me a community grant, which gave me hundreds of internet computer to make videos this month about internet computer, which I was doing that anyway for months beforehand. You all said, hey, if, if they're going to, give you some internet computer to keep making the videos you're already making, do it. So if you're a content creator, you can apply for a community grant as well. If you go to Definity, you can look up the community grants program and apply for a community grant yourself if you would like to make educational videos like this about internet computer. If you found this helpful, check out my website, which is hosted directly on internet computer, much cheaper and more scalable than other web hosts. 
You can schedule a call with me. I've got two calls tomorrow. You can ch talk to me on Discord or directly on Open Chat, which is on internet computer. I read most of my messages on Open Chat, all of them on Discord. I have three crypto channel, three channels, two crypto channels, and one original main channel where I make videos that I hope help you with the things you're struggling with in life. My crypto channels are there to help you in the area of money as I lead by example and share my experience since 2014 in crypto. I put all my videos on X as well. My original channel is there to help you with the rest of life. Things like sobriety. I make instrumental inspiring music. Talk about all the problems I've figured out and like things like, you know, being overweight, getting over breakups, negative emotions, turning those into positives. All the stuff I learn and share, I put it out there on my main channel and on my X to help you out. I appreciate you watching all the way to the end and I hope to see you again soon.